Please tell me I heard wrong. Why, Judy, why? Let me explain, Nick! In this video, I read the entire Zootopia Fetus Deletus trilogy. A lot of you guys have probably seen this infamous frame from the comic, and it's gone all over the internet, but not many people know that it actually has multiple sequels. Huh? Sequels that are only crazier than the original. No! No, I've had enough! He's about to tear his ears off, dude. He is not handling this well. I had my mind blown when reading this entire thing live on twitch.tv slash play, and only like 20% of y'all are subscribed with notifications on. If you sub and hit that bell button, you'll never miss another video. Video. Anyways, enjoy this video. How many abortions can one bunny have? <laughs> well, considering rabbits are known to fuck a lot. Best decision of my life, worst decision of mine. I will survive. A Zootopia fan comic by Borba. Chirp, chirp, go the birds. Tap, goes a pregnancy test. Judy doesn't look so happy. Oh, this, this crotch hatching is really good. <laughs> come on, let's go. Sweet cheese. It's positive. Snore. <sighs> Nick. Nick, come on, wake up. Mm. We're off duty today. Nick, I have something important to say. Also, that ass is fucking fat. What the fuck were they doing? They knew the pose they were making when they did that shit. Nicholas, I am serious. Okay, okay. Jeez, when you call me Nicholas, it means that I'm in great danger. You bet. She got mad cake? Yeah. <laughs> Pe people do like the Zootopia bunny for a reason. It's not an unfounded, you know, observation. Mm. May I take a shower and do other things before you ruin the rest of my day? Yeah, I think that'd be good. He's singing in the shower. He's so happy, not not even, like, aware of, like, how his life's about to change forever. Wow, I'm feeling much better now. Well, what is this important thing you need- you, you want me to know? Like, I- I'm pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking action lines, dude! <laughs> Nice try, Fluff. You almost got me. As if it were even possible. Your... Your nose is twitching. So it means... Carrots, are you sure it's for real? Yes, it is. I, that's a... <laughs> I didn't even catch that was supposed to illustrate the nose twitching. Look, he's so invested in this. What a loving and caring boyfriend. I can see no way this will go wrong and they will have a disagreement over this. I just took a pregnancy test and... <gasps> Judy, oh Judy, this is the happiest day of my life. I love you, Judy. I love you so much. You've made me the happiest mammal on earth. Nick, please stop, stop. That artist knew what they were doing with the cheeks in every panel. It, it, it has to be intentional. Oh, sorry, I didn't hurt you, did I? No, Nick, you didn't. But this isn't the problem. Problem? You mean because we're from different species, you think our baby might have some problem, right? That wasn't what I meant. Nick, please don't make things worse for us. Judy, what are you talking about? I don't want this child! Heartbreaking. Gut-wrenching, you might even say. Stop while you still can. I, stopping but while I still could would be not streaming this. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest surprise about this entire thing is that it doesn't become a porn thing by the end. Like, you'd think this would just be like a really dramatic build-up to like a sex scene, but no, it, it stays drama the whole time. Please tell me I heard wrong! Why, Judy, why? Let me explain, Nick. The expression work is so good. It's it's like, no, it, no, the, it is good that this person is talented, but this level of competency attached to this particular concept, it, it is, you know, it is a very much like, that's real, huh? It's like seeing y'all, like, make incredibly good and detailed furry art about me. Like, you could, you could be doing thousands of dollars worth of commissions, but you're doing it for, I don't know, some fucking pooey streamer. <laughs> so explain yourself. Why don't you want our baby? There's no baby yet. I'm just in my first month of pregnancy. And you decided on your own that this is going to be the last one. Thank you. Let's talk about it like adults, right? Also, they 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 put the, they put the cheeks in every frame. Yes, I do know there are some cases of interbreeding, but they're extremely rare, and none of them have involved a couple formed by a pred and a prey. A pred for short. So I foolishly believed we didn't have to take any precautions. Your first mistake. Furries have been making crossbreed uh, species for their fursonas for years, and you thought it wouldn't happen to you? You're a fool. Sorry, I'm focusing on all the wrong things right here, guys. We hate Nick right now. Hey, 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 we we. Need Need to, we need to get the full scope of the story. We need to get the full scope of the story before we make any character judgments. Maybe Nick comes around, okay? There's three parts. People can have character arcs, and maybe he learns to be better. How wrong I was. I still don't understand why you- Because I'm afraid! Nose twitch. That's the character tell, by the way. That's how we know that she's being serious. Afraid of what? In part, I fear our child might be, you know, some kind of freak. Judy's imagination gone wild. I know some of y'all feel some kind of way about that silhouette drawing. I I'm not- like, I'm just calling you out right now, because I know you're in the chat. No, look, look, look! These angles are- these angles are literally intentional. You can't tell me they're not. Look! Look! I'm not crazy! I'm not crazy! You really think so? Why not? It isn't impossible. Moreover, a baby of yours might be a little too big for me. <laughs> how, do, how does the whole, like, coitus between these two work to begin with? I feel like everything in that scenario is, like, just too big to start. You don't know for sure. Nobody knows, and it scares me. So what you're saying is, Hey, Nick, even if you can get me pregnant, I don't want to have any children with you. Did I hit the mark, Judy? I should have had this talk with you earlier, and I'm really sorry for not doing so. And you have no idea how hard it is for me to have to tell you these things. But I must say that there is another good reason. And it's my career. 
Man, women these days all want to work, always want to work jobs and get money and get and stack paper. Me too, sis. Get that bread. She doesn't want to have the baby because she's too busy girl bossing, essentially. Nick is such a whiny bitch. Hey, 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 we're only in the first third of the series, okay? We, 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 it, it could go up from here. You know I'm about to be promoted to lieutenant, and if I accept this risky pregnancy, my career will be halted for months or years or even forever in the worst case scenario. If I suffer any sequ sequela, it's not only my life and my career that are in danger here, Nick. I became a symbol, and I don't want to let these achievements slip through my fingers like sand. It's a novel. It's a novel. Like, this could have been a paragraph in, in a book. Also, this angle was intentional. I'm telling you. Like, they, they're, they're photographing the goods. I should have known you were going to throw it in my face, but you surprised me, Judy. You don't have the right to say that to me. You know who I am. You know what I am. You know what's at stake for me since we first met. And you know full well that I did everything for my career. And it seems like you can even kill our baby for your career. Oh, the most famous comic panel of all time. The most relevant piece of Zootopia media ever created. It has never eclipsed this and cultural relevancy. Oh! An equ equally famous frame. What? This action work is good. Like, the motion is so crisp and clear. Why is it- is this person like a comic or like a graphic novelist by trade? Oh, I remember this now? You remember this now? Wait, did the- did this not ring a bell? Domestic abuse moment. He falls down and hits the table. Nick, Nick, forgive me, I lost my temper. And he walks out. Ashamed. He packs his bags. All of his stuff. And he gets out. Nick, I beg you, please forgive me. You don't need to do that. I didn't want to hurt you. I need you more than ever. Trust me when I say I still love you. It's heart-wrenching. A single teardrop to my son Nicholas with love. Judy, what would have happened if your mother, while pregnant with you, had decided to interrupt her pregnancy? All of these memories in the real world would have never happened. Not the guilt tripping. Nick, it's useless. I know it's you. I'll tell you what would have happened. If you hadn't been born, Judy, this world would be as bleak as ever. And without your light, I'd still be on the streets living a meaningless life. <laughs> Wait, dude, he's got a fucking beer bottle. He's canon alcoholic in this dude. That's not true, Nick. Even being a little bunny, you stopped an absurdly nasty conspiracy and helped change the minds and hearts of millions. Things like these could never, ever have happened without you. For God's sake, Judy, give this unborn child the opportunity to do the same. I beg you. Please let your light continue to shine through him or her. Or them. And he thinks she's coming around with- it has the sparkles in her eye. And then no. As, and right as the piano note hit. As I said before, it's useless. My body, my rules. Any chance you might change your mind? No, Nick. Neither will I. Nick, don't go away. Please, stay with me. Let's talk more about this. Do you want to talk? Why don't you just ri get rid of our child without me knowing anything? It wouldn't be the most honest thing to do. This is like a noir detective comic. I'm I, like, I, I really want- This is actually good drama. I'm so into this. I mean, I, it's certainly making me feel strong emotions. I just don't know if it's the ones it intended for me to feel. I thought you deserved to know. <laughs> it would have been better for you if you had kept me in the dark about your premeditated sin. Goodbye, Judy. Leaving the keys. Nick. Where are you going? Don't worry. I'll survive. <laughs> That's like the name of the comic. Oh my god. And he leaves with a, a new scar on his cheek, a tear in his eye, and only the clothes on his back and his backpack to, to start a new life? I don't know. Nick, if you walk out the door, you don't have to come back anymore. Oh no, no. Nothing lasts forever, even an apparently everlasting love. It has triumphed over the odds and many challenges. They eventually come to an end. And they managed to sneak the ass shot into the last frame too. Incredible. Yeah, shout out Borba. She scratched him. Yeah, it was, it was real violent. Emotionally, where are we at right now? It's hard to feel right now. It's hard to know what to feel right now, you know? I, I I don't know. Being in character for those performances really made me feel a way, you know? Like, get it when you get into the character of what you're playing like that in the way that I did, then it's very hard to uh, separate yourself from the story. Like, I feel immersed in what's happening, you know? This is Born to be Alive, a Zootopia fan comic by Borba. I believe it takes place some time later. This is the sequel to I will survive. Judy, knocking on the door. Keep the symbolism of the apartment number being for you. So it's, it's environmental storytelling. Come on, open the door. I know you're home. Four locks on this, which that makes it seem like this is not the first time he's come knocking. Go away, Nick. It's 2 a.m. Besides, you're being quite noisy. Couldn't you just knock on the door? If you're gonna make such a fuss again, I'll have no choice but to arrest you for disorderly conduct. Is that all you used to say to me? After a year? It's been a full year, 12 months later. Real time jump on this one. They've gone through the whole stage of grief and probably moved on with their lives to some degree. So we're seeing these characters characters in a whole new light. Leave me alone, Nick, and never come back. Crunch? Oh, his fault. He's, he's the one who stuck the toe on the door that time. She did not initiate the attack. Nick, move away from the door. No, I need to talk with you face to face. What is so important that made you come here at this time? Let me in and I'll tell you everything, Judy. But believe me, if I don't talk with you right now, I might not have another day to live. Twitch, Twitch, the nose Twitch returns. Also, wear shoes next time. It'll really help. Nick Gaslight? He, his life might be in real danger. He looked like he was properly scrabbling and panicked right here. Nick comes in. It's dark in here. The apartment looks the same. Everything is in its place. Nick, I'm not in the mood for your antics. I must be on duty at 8 a.m., so 
Yeah, I do know. This is the first time we've met in many months, yet the only thing you think about is your job. She's so materialistic, or whatever. I don't know, I don't have a- I don't have a joke here. It was not me who resigned from the police force. Unlike you, I have my duties. By the way, is it the alcohol that made you come here to see me again? Ain't an alcoholic, dude. He's relapsed. He's relapsed to his time on the street. Duty really was the only thing holding him together. Er, it'd be nice if you had some coffee for me. What, do you want some coffee right now? I think you know where the coffee maker is. I must have to warm it up a little. I'm gonna be looking at all the Easter eggs in these shots because these environments seem super fleshed out. Think about it, slurp. Ah, I'm feeling better now. Minutes ago, you said that your life was at stake. Well, did I say that? Um, yeah, seems I did. Just as I suspected, you lied to me. No, I only hustled you a bit. So your old self is back. Didn't I tell you, Fluff? I will always survive. It's the title of the last comic. Oh my god. Nick, you son of a oopsie. Haha. <laughs> or by the by, say, did you do that? You mean my premeditated sin? Wow. Oh my. Did I really say such a thing? <laughs> Sorry for the nonsense, Judy. I- Yes, Nick. I did. And she has not a trace of regret in her eyes. She made that decision for herself, and she did not look back. I mean, Nick, it's been a year. You don't see a child, like, walking around this place, do you? Bro is really shocked. I forgive? I don't need your forgiveness. No, Judy, you got me wrong. I mean, forgive me. Is this the turn? Could, could, did, has he seen the error of his ways, perhaps? And he gets on his knees. <laughs> immediate, immediate male wife. Nick, I miss you, Judy. I miss you so much. He's a wreck without her. He couldn't learn to live without it. And he, he made the decision to walk out, though. Like, that's on him. Nick, stop. Stop this and stand up. Judy, please hear me out. I did you wrong. I should have never left you. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I should have stayed by your side. You asked me to stay, but I refused to listen. I was proud enough to turn my back on you. To leave you was the hardest thing I ever did. But my pride pulled me away from you, from your love. Judy, I thought I'd be fine. That I forget, could forget you. How stupid and wrong I was. <laughs> Dude, he is fucking- he is in the- he is deep in. He's doing one night stands with hookers. Fucking like in really, really scummy motels. Fucking on the noisiest, most ricketyest beds you can find in all of Zootopia. He's trying to fill that void. White voice acting on point? Thank you. That makes me feel giddy. That makes me feel good inside. Someone say this was a Beastars arc? It, it, it basically is. This is basically season one. It, how, like, where do bugs stand as citizens in Zootopia? Because animals are, you know, technically all on equal playing field, predator or prey. Like, where do bugs factor into this equation? I regret bitterly for letting you face your idea. Your, your ordeal by myself. I was such a shameful coward. But believe me, Judy, I've learned my lesson, changed my ways, and she she got it. She got her pay, so she doesn't really care. Man's got to get his life together. Why did the font change? Why the fuck did the font change to cursive? I ha I can't read cursive. Did you forgive and pass? My past errors and many flaws? What do you say? Will you do so and take me back? Oh, neck, neck. I didn't know you foxes were so emotional. However. You walked out on me when I needed you most. Shh, it's my turn to talk. Yes, I do know that we both made many mistakes and bad choices, but you did the worst of them all by turning your back on me. I ain't gonna lie. Even like, even if like Nick being pro-choice is a little fuck, if like your, if your significant other like started hitting you and you walked out over that, I don't think that's like super your fault, but he didn't walk out because of that. He walked out because he didn't want to like have the, uh, he didn't want to have the abortion talk. Why am I making moral judgments on these characters actions? Jeez. Wait, you are, you aren't pro-choice? I am, I am. Wait, no, 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 I am, I am. What the fuck? What the fuck? That's like the opposite of what I said. What the fuck? I said if your partner hits you, you're valid in leaving. What the fuck? Oh my god. Oh my god. How the fuck did you get it from that? Oh my god. Oh my god. I have no context for this, so I'm very confused. Holy shit, dude. I'm not. I'm not a pro-lifer. Stop calling me a pro-lifer. I'm not. I'm not. Stop it. Holy shit. Okay, 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 okay. Woman's body, woman's choice. Am I right, fellas? Oh god, that's gonna get me so much pussy. <laughs> Judy, I- Where were you when the procedure went wrong? Do you know how much I missed you by my side when I was going through such a dreadful time? Did you forget that you were as guilty of my pregnancy as me? If you really loved me, you would have been strong enough to stay with me. That's all I asked for, Nick. Your support. Instead, you just gave me the cold shoulder and walked out on me. It's too late for reconciliation. I'm sorry, Nick. It's time for you to go. <laughs> the fucking sub noise right after that, dude. Judy, please give me a chance. I can't live without you. Nick, you're hurting me. Let me go. If he's a guest in your home now, one wrong does not make a right. He shouldn't be hurting you this way, especially as the stronger individual. Judy! Someone else was there the whole time. This is the next, this is the next fucking shocker. I'll tell you, you're not ready for the twist here. Uh, are you okay? A new fox is in the relationship. They left the door open. The entire time, the whole apartment complex heard that quit. Oh, that, heard that shit. OMG, she's a homo? But we, ha, let, let's give the list real quick. Canonical hookers in Zootopia. That was, that was canon in the movie. They literally had like a naked club. But canon alcoholic Nick, canon... Bisexual Judy Hops. Canon abortion procedures. Damn, damn, damn. Shay, I told you to stay in bed. I can deal with Nick by myself. Okay, li listen, I know he's like in the wrong here, but that expression is kind of cute. I just like the art. I just, I just appreciate the art. That's all. I'm looking at this from like an artistic merit. Not, no, nothing else. Don't make it weird. And why is she in our bedroom? 
Oh no, 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 no! Listen, I'm gonna praise this on a, like, a, like a design and artistic level. The dialogue going from him wondering what's happening to them about to clasp hands and his realization as they clasp hands. Unironically artful in like, well done and I hate, I hate, I hate that. I hate that this is so competently made. You, you replaced me with another fox? A female fox? I think you'd better say vixen. Homophobic Nick Wilde plot twist. Homophobic, alcoholic, pro-life Nick Wilde. How many other things can we rack up on the list, fellas? It, he probably listens to like Andrew Tate podcast. <laughs> many things happened while you were away, Nick. When you went away, I was in despair, feeling totally miserable and alone. I could not count on the support of my family. Not after everything I put them through when I became a police officer. Especially the two of us started to live together without being married. You know the current... Caretalix. This motherfucker loves their puns, don't they? I didn't expect them to somehow accept my decision to interrupt my pregnancy. In the end, I stood up for myself and went ahead with that procedure. Of course, I kept my family unaware of what I was doing and what happened next. Caretalix? I, I hope I said that right. I hope I said I hope I said the Catholic pun right. Doesn't roll off the tongue the same way. As the first rabbit to ever as the first rabbit to ever get an abortion, I was fully aware of the risks. The first one ever. Unfortunately, complications happened, and I had to get help at the ZPD's hospital. And it was there where I first met Shannon. My ray of sunshine in those dark times. The fit's kind of fire. I don't know. I, I need a pair of, I need to get a pair of overalls. She works as a garage mechanic at ZBD and came to the hospital due to a minor injury. We became friends and began to cheer each other up. That doesn't explain why you, things are not just black or white, Nick. And Shay and I are well in the middle of it. Why is that, why is this a nice, why is this like a nice, or like piece of art. I'm actually pissed off. Judy is a bi queen. Oh yeah. Even we were greatly surprised when our feelings started to change. No, no, I've had enough. He's about to tear his ears off, dude. He is not handling this well. If I were Nick, I would have run out of the house by now and just gone to the nearest bar. Fucking forgotten the night happened. Be like I should have never gone back there. You're not like that, Judy. You're just fooling yourself. Please dump this Leslie and get back to your true self. What the fuck? Canon homophobe. Canon homophobe. What the fuck? Also, I've never heard that term before. I I, I'm sorry if that's like an offensive term. I did. I, I was just like reading the text of the comic. My bad if it is. But like canonically homophobic. The fucking the fucking gall. The fucking gall to just like write that in the in the dialogue. That's so funny. He's so afraid of gay people. Well, they are scary. Let's be fair. Let her go. Fuck off. Oh shit. He's committed assault multiple times tonight. Holy shit. This next frame is gonna be crazy. I'm telling you. Ah ah thud. Shay, you okay? Oh my. Sorry. I didn't want Nick. Get out of my home now! Also, I think they dialed down the fan service on Judy this time around. So, like, very progr very progressive comic, gotta say. Yeah, Nick, you came here. Out of the blue, from outer space, with a sad story and hoping I was all alone and free. Oh no, Nick! Not I. I found me a new love with someone who respects me. Because I deserve to live a new life, Nick. I was born to be alive. Hey, that's like the name of the comic. Judy, please. Do yourself a favor and get out of my life forever. Fuck, this thing is long, dude. We're, like, not even halfway done with the scroll. Judy. Are you alright? And then it, it switches to color? What the fuck? I didn't know this was colored in. And then they embrace, and then they kiss in comfort of one another. I'm better now. Much better. Wow. I leave for five minutes and Nick's a homophobe? Real. I feel like so much has happened in less than 30 pages. It's a lot to digest. Like, I, I, I think I need- I think I need a breather. Like, that, that, that was a lot. Never say goodbye. A Zootopia fan comic by Borba. We got a beautiful, uh, you know, scenic shot of Zootopia right here. Great drawing. Okay, boys and girls, what do you guys want? I want pineapple juice. Kiwi for me. Can I have blueberry juice? No juice for you. Like the, like the fucking, like the Ben 10 quote. That might be from something else and Ben 10 was referencing that original thing, but that's what I know it from. I need to look this up before I make a fool of myself. It was Ben 10. It is Ben 10. I knew that's, I knew that's where it was originally from. I'm fucking so smart. No juice for you. No juice for you. <laughs> it's Seinfeld and Ben 10 stole it. Nah, it's Ben 10. Nice choice, Samson. I'll have one too. Yay, isn't this going to be expensive for you, Mr. Wilde? No worries, Monica. Junior Rangers Reserve Fund will reimburse my expenses. Nick has also canonically embezzled company funds, huh? Well, now that you kids know everything about this great station, I'm going to show you a wonderful place. A place where... <laughs> What's going on? Yoo-hoo. Hey, wow. Everybody's really excited in the crowd, you know? He has a criminal record. How the fuck is he a Boy Scout leader? How did he become a cop with a criminal record? Also, look, he's got a rollie. He's been embezzling fucking, like, company funds. Look at him, dude. Look, it's... Hmm. Looks like a VIP is coming here. Hooray. Welcome, Mayor. Mayor Hops. Judy's the fucking mayor. Judy is the mayor and still got them curves. Like, jeez. Surrounded by, like, tons of security. I, I don't know. I don't know when she got a haircut. Like, she's probably a toupee. Mayor Hops. Yay, how pretty she is. She's so beautiful in person. And all, and this is like YouTube, being a YouTuber simulator. Dumb bunny. The one negative comment. This voice. It's Nick Wilde. 
and she's blown away. Nicholas. They, they, they did a double page spread on this, dude. I can't- I- This was designed to be in a physical comic book. It has to have been. There's gotta be some place I can buy this. Long time no see, carrots. Or should I say, your honor? No, you don't have to. By the way, I'm glad to see you're doing well. Mm, oh, do you mean this? It's just my irresistible fox charm. It grows over time, you know. He really did let himself go, but he seems like happier than ever. He's taking care of himself better than before. Like, I I'm just hoping he's learned from his bad ways. I think he just has a dad body. No, not I'm pregnant. Ahem. Something wrong, Mare Hops? No, not at all. I just found a longtime friend of mine. I see. <laughs> This author knows what they're doing. This, these, these frames are great. These are all NFTs, by the way. And then they create space for these two to talk privately while the wolf just fucking watches like it observes the entire conversation. Oh, wow. This is what I would call a mammal wall. Hey, is it all, is it like this all the time? Believe me, this is just one of the downsides of becoming empowered. M Mr. Wild. Hey, that is not fair. Mrs. Mayor, if you don't mind. Oh, sorry. Let the kids come closer, Wolverton. Wolverton? Hard ass name, you know. You know Mayor Hops, Mr. Wild? Let's she and, let's say she and I cracked a lot of criminal cases some time ago. Ten years ago. Ago, to be exact. It's been a decade, huh? Since the events of the last comic, at least. Or nine years since the last. Wow, is it true, Mrs. Mir? Yes, it is, darling. Mr. Wilde and I were cops and great buddies. And we were also one more thing, weren't we? Nick, please. But this part of our history is just water under the bridge now, right? <laughs> <laughs> I for real thought like this was like them fucking for a second, but nah, it's just like old panels. All the slice of life moments. So you finally became a junior ranger scout, right? <laughs> How funny. I'm the leader of the Zootopia pack and a successful entrepreneur. Okay, kids, introduce yourself. Trooper Nicholas Piberius Wild Jr. Proudly at your service, man. Nicholas Wild Jr.? Yep, he's my pride. He's the little piece of me that I gave to the world. He had a son. He had a son. He has his, he, he found his own happiness. He, I'm hoping he learned better too to be more accepting. <laughs> I've all- he always makes that face when I say that. Yeah, I know. Call genetics, my dear. I'm so happy for you, Nick. And your wife, too. So you didn't fail to notice this. Of course. And I'm quite sure she's a very special woman. By the way, you're still stunningly beautiful, Judy. I would dare say you are more beautiful now than ever. Yeah, her hips only got wider, bro. Like, oh, like, gee, like, jeez, like, fucking look! Oh, like, jeez! Thank you, Nick. I'm glad you have no hard feelings. Well, rest assured that I never had such feelings for you, sweetheart. Same here. Unfortunately, not all mammals think so. Even in power, she still has that fat fucking ass! What the fuck?! Almost all Zootopia citizens, even those who didn't vote for me, prove and do support my full mammal equality program. The very reason why I was elected. There are these small radical groups that are against this integration and don't want me to be re-elected. Oh my god! Oh, 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 what is- What am I looking at? What the fuck am I looking at? How did it go off the rail so fast? Keep scrolling, please. I will in a second. There are pro-preds and pro-praise groups, each with their own twisted agendas to overthrow Zootopia's democratic government and impose their prejudices and biased views. I- I knew there was some crazy things in this comic, but I didn't know about this one. They're just a handful of delusional weirdos. This explains your bodyguards, but uh, Judy, wouldn't it be safer for you, you to stay away from public places? If I do so, the extremists will think they've defeated me. I'm not gonna bury myself in a burrow. I'd rather- Excuse me, your honor, but they just arrived. This place is clear, sir. Good work, mammals. Everything is ready to welcome. Welcome. Bear hops, wife, and children. Oh, sh uh, damn. Shay, First Lady Shay. Oh, they adopted a red panda and a little zebra. Mommy Judy, I missed you. I missed you too, my cupcake. Oh, m m m Mr. Wild. I shan't, I mean, um, Mrs. Hops. I don't know if you're gonna believe me or not, but, um, I'm deeply sorry for what I said and did to you that morning. I was a major jerk. And I've done you wrong. It was one of the worst things I did in my life. Well, I mean, I really, really hope you'll forgive me. With tears in her eyes, she chooses to be the bigger person. It's never too late to become a better person, to change your ways. If you stumble and stumble over and over again, get back up. Learn from your mistakes. It's the only thing you can do after you fucked up. I thought she didn't want kids. She didn't want them then. Nick Healing Arc. I'm happy for him, you know? It wasn't perfect and he did some fucked up things, but the people that he wronged, they forgave him, and it seems like he's made a real change. He's turned around his life. Stu and Bonnie sent you many hugs. Gosh, it's been a while since the last time I was at the Burroughs. I'll pay them a visit as soon as possible. I've seen your family on the news, but it's a pleasure to meet your kids in person. Thanks, let me introduce them to you. This is Rafiki. He's the captain of his school's pawball team. Say hi to Mr. Wild, Rafiki. Say, what about becoming a junior ranger scout, son? Wow, it'd be way cool, Mr. Wild. This young lady is Mulan. Aw, she's a little shy. Oh, do the fucking Lion King cast in the background, I just realized. I've probably missed so many Easter eggs at this point just by not looking around. Shay, this handsome boy is Nick's son. Nick Jr. Like the, like, Nickelodeon? Oh, how cute he is. What, what would you like to do when you grow up, mis Mr. My Dear? I'd like to help make the world a better place. Whoosh. Please. Never say goodbye to me again. And like they're, they're like he's reaching and he's reaching into his vest for the gat. Up. Oh, do I need to, do I need to like shoot a bitch? Nah, it's, it's purely platonic. Agreed. I'll never say that again. Oh, if you ever need anything from Zootopia City Hall. Now that you said that, your ranger scouts are in need of a new headquarters. You smart fox. All right, just go to my office. We'll see what I can do for your scouts. Deal? Mare Hops is a great mammal. Isn't she, Dad? Yes, I'm sure she is, Junior. 
sure she is. Well, boys and gals, now that everything's been said and done, well, what was I saying to you kiddos a dozen minutes ago? Oh yeah, are you ready to know a very amusing place? Where is it, Dad? You know where, Junior. It's our amusement park. The wild times. Never say goodbye. The end. What a happy ending. It's good to see that it came around into something productive and fruitful and they're living their best lives. Never say goodbye extra. Zootopia fan comic by Borba. Shay and Judy are in the motorcade, waving to their adoring, adoring supporters who love them as politicians. They're taking pictures, expecting nothing bad to happen. They're in an open roof coop. There's a Bruder film reference is strong. They have their sights on. in front of Shay, and that's the real ending. We can't have good things. I'm sorry, fellas, but it gets worse. It's in graphic detail. Hakwa, Shay desperately, desperately tries to protect her lover who's been shot. It's not over though. I got her. I got that cursed bun. What? No, I got her. Shut up, stupid pred. You shaded lousy prey. Jail him. <laughs> <laughs> cherry jam. The rifles were set to shoot volleys of heavy paintballs filled with dangerously sugary cherry jam. How cruel. These extremists are real monsters. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking to baited twice, fucking twice. Uh, and the poor kids had to think their moms were dead for us. Their mom was dead for a second. I will survive. Born to be alive. Never say goodbye. The end. Guys, there, there's one fucking. There's one bit I forgot. There's one bit I forgot to do for the stream that I'm doing right now. It, I, I feel so bad for everybody who's left because this was like specifically something somebody made for this one particular stream. Oh, here we go. Will not survive. A quite trap fan comic. Be blowing out my back. It's getting cracked like some porcelain. It's a quiet lyric. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> um, uh, I haven't read this whole thing up till now, by the way, fellas. So we're first reacting to this together. Load faster, dent head. What the fuck? M prank. <laughs> oh my fucking God. Oh my, how did I forget this was happening? Snore, babe. Babe, boyfriend shaped figure in bed. Come on, wake up. I know you're not sleeping. You say you like it when I pretend to sleep. You said it makes it me seem more alive. Oh, I made this, I made this. I I told you I'd keep it, I'd keep it anonymous if you want it. Thank you for reminding me though, Meta. Well, clearly you are alive. And I, I love, thank you for giving me adequate amount of ass uh, in the fucking like those like God tier short shorts and the thigh highs. If you truly aren't alive, then how can I be? How can I be pregnant? Wait, I'm so happy. We're going to be dads. D L look at my fucking ass. Ah, uh, my shit is so fat. Brink trap. I love you, but I can't keep this baby. You even included the fucking cut on my hand? This- you got the scar like perfect. What on the- what on earth were you smoking when you made it this- when you made it this detailed? Did you do that on every frame? You did. You- you kept the scar on every section that has my hand in it. That's ridiculous. Spring trap. I love you, but I can't keep this baby. You know it would get in the way of my YouTube and Twitch career. It's too big of a sacrifice. I understand and respect your choice. I love you, quite. Wow. What a great boyfriend. Looks great, but why? I don't- I couldn't tell you. I, I'd like to go back to admiring my cheeks. Like, accurate. Size accurate. IRL size accurate. So yeah, there, there, there's there's that bit. You could have experienced that live on twitch.tv slash quite, but you weren't here, YouTube viewer. And we would have loved to have you here. These streams are a lot of fun. Going, the, going through these page by page. Holy shit. Is there more? That's the end of the main storyline. What an experience. Holy shit.